That's Wally Muhammad with Drew Brown. Beautiful evening here in the Bahamas. Angelo Dundee is in the ring, the veteran trainer of Muhammad Ali since the first couple of fights of his career. The crowd is starting to chant, Ali, Ali, like old times. Ali is six feet three, but Trevor Burbick is not small, he's six feet two and a half. Ali is almost 40 years old. Trevor Burbick is 27. Ali may be the first one in the ring. I don't see any, any sign of Trevor Burbick anywhere. He is reported to have said that he wouldn't move until Ali moved. Big crowd in front of Ali. Here he comes. What a production this has turned out to be, huh? Great production. That was some entrance. He's a very what somber an person. What an oh, he also has the colors of the Bahamas. Also, the borderline trim is all the Bahama colors. Yes, you're right. Bundini Brown's got all Bahamian colors. Very serious group around Muhammad Ali, Wally Muhammad, Drew Brown. Nobody's smiling. Angelo Dundee is the most lighthearted of the group. There in the left-hand corner, Trevor Burbick has not put in an appearance yet. He's a guy who went 15 rounds with Larry Holmes was not knocked out. I'm talking about Burbick. Muhammad Ali's last fight was against Larry Holmes and he was forced to stop the fight in his corner. You'll never see uh, Muhammad Ali more somber than he is right now. I've never, I've never seen the people around him that somber. Yeah, everybody. I wonder if he's thinking of that knockout by Holmes in the 12th round. He must question his, uh, his ability. He oh, must. Sure. He's, a, he's a very rational person. He's, oh, he finally smiled over at us, Daddy. Yes, he did. He winked at us and smiled <laughs> over. That's, that's a good sign. We're still waiting for Trevor Burbick to come in. He's the party of the second part. 
almost a forgotten man. Ali still limbering up lightly. Uh, Zach Clayton is in the ring, so is Nelson Chipman, so we're not sure yet who is the referee. Trevor Burbick is on his way. He's uh, sauntering in a little bit faster than Muhammad Ali did. Don, uh, Zach Clayton is the referee for this fight. Is it definite? Definite. I, I just see him in there. He's still got his windbreaker on. Okay, Zach Clayton. Uh, one of the best referees in the country is going to work this fight. The return to action of Muhammad Ali. His first fight since October 2nd, 1980. A little over a year ago. I don't know why the other referee is not getting out of the ring. Jim Hill has joined us at ringside, and it's possible that Tommy Hearns may join us later. I'm Don Dunphy, along with Davey Pearl and Randy Shields. Trevor Burbick came into the ring on Muhammad, through Muhammad's corner. That's quite a surprise. Muhammad Ali is ignoring him as he dances around the ring. Jim, welcome, welcome to ringside. Where were you all night? I have been all over the I place, Don, I'll tell you, but I have enjoyed, I have enjoyed the things and the people that I've talked to, and you guys have just been doing a marvelous job. This had, the drama has really come to the mat here. You know, we were thinking about all the controversy and everything else that's happened in the last four or five weeks, but we've had some pretty good bouts here. Fantastic well, bouts. Uh, Jim, let me tell you this. Uh, it's easy to do a good fight, and we've had nothing but good fights tonight, so they're easy to do. That's absolutely right. When I talked to uh, Ernie Shavers uh, yesterday, and I talked to him today before he went in the ring, he said, hey, I talked I talk to, talk to my wife, and all she said, go. But there are the graphics that tell you the statistics on the young man. Muhammad Ali, 236, the heaviest of his career by far, and Burbick is 218. Size-wise, though, there isn't a great deal of difference. Burbick six feet two and a half, and Ali is six feet three. Burbick seems a, a happy young man in there. At 27, he's a lot younger than the 39-year-old coming up to 40, Muhammad Ali. He'll be 40 in January. Ali's got four inches in reach uh, on Burbick, uh, which maybe should be to his advantage. Uh, it would have been in the old days oh, when sure. he had that speed. Now. Well, we got to take everything we can get now, Don. Ladies and gentlemen, at ringside for this fight, the Minister of Sport, Don. We'll, we'll be going up to Matt Helwitz, the announcer, in a, in a few minutes. Wilfred Copley, Hassan Brown, Charlie Major Sr., Harold Pinder, Sammy Isaacs, George McKinney. Well, all I can say, it's been a most enjoyable evening. judges for this bout. Congratulations to the winners. And we're sorry for the losers, but that's the name of the game. Win and lose. There have been some fights. And Ernie Shaver's getting off the floor when he was, when I thought he was gone in the first round. Wasn't that an amazing Unbelievable. comeback? Unbelievable. It really was. And you know, from the people that I've talked to, and uh, Randy and Don, I, I don't know, you know how you feel about it, but they know, that deep down in their hearts, they know that Ali shouldn't be in here. But still, to them, he is a sentimental favorite. That's right. Oh, no, no question about Very much that. so. Well, Ernie Shavers shouldn't have been in there either, especially in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Where are you going to see a better fight than Hearns and Singletary? Oh, oh no. Where would you see a better fight? You know, for continuous anyway. action, I rated that above the Leonard fight for continuous action. Yes. Yeah, there were a lot now, of right slow down? rounds in the Leonard fight. Right. A lot of slow exactly. rounds. Exactly. Davey, as you look at this fight now, we look at Ali, we see the concentration in his face and his eyes, an athlete's eyes will tell you a great deal about himself. You've been in the ring many, many times. What do you think of going through these guys' minds right now? Because you've been in there. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Burbick is wondering how good and how fast Ali will be. 
Ali wants to win this fight. He's got to win this fight. I've talked to people in this camp all week. And he's never been more serious in his life. Trevor Burbick introduced. Fighting out of the blue corner at 236 pounds, three times the former heavyweight champion in the world, Muhammad Ali. Listen to the hand for the great ex-champion. It's like old times here in Nassau and the Bahamas. However, I'll say that Trevor Burbick is the more carefree of the two. You ready? All right. Zach Clayton, the referee, has not yet taken off his windbreaker. Zach Clayton, a great basketball star with the Harlem Globetrotters years ago, has still got that magic in his feet. He can move around the ring. Burbick and Ali meeting face to face. Man, this is your fight. And all I want is a good clean fight. Uh, this is Zach Clayton. This, last, this morning, your representative was briefed on the rules and regulation of the Commonwealth. A few of the rules I think is most important to rehash. Number one, that in the event of a knockdown, the boxer getting knocked down must take an eight-second count, kneeling or standing. It makes no difference. The boxer scoring the knockdown must go to the furthest neutral corner, remain there till he's totally resumed fighting. If you come out before I order you to, I'm gonna send you back. Number two, that in the event of a knockdown, and the bell sounds while the contestant's on the ground, the count will continue. If it doesn't rise before the count reaches 10, it's an automatic knockout. Number three, the three knockdown rules is in effect. And even the three knockdowns in any given round, the fight is more mighty over. Protect yourself at all times because you're on your own. Mr. Dundee, you have any questions? No. You're in charge of your corner. Yes. I'll hold you responsible for your corner. Mr. Black, are you have any questions? No question. I'll hold you responsible for your corner. Check out hands now, talk, fighting at the bell. Good luck both of you. All right, there it is. Take some one one thing mean, to add to what Zach Clayton said, a man cannot be saved by the bell except in the last round. All right, here it is. The comeback by Muhammad Ali. Drama of the Bahamas, right, now about Rama to begin. Drama in the Bahamas. Trevor Burbick wearing the white trunks with the red stripe and border. Muhammad Ali wearing the McGregor trunks, the white stripes, the white trunks rather, black stripe and border. And Zach Clayton is the referee. Right. Bell for round right. one is scheduled for 10. Ali pecking away with the jab. The crowd is in a bedlam already. Oh, what a beautiful left hand. Ali is landing first. Better. Ali getting in a couple of right hands in this round so far. Ali looking very good. Trevor Burbick catching him with a slight counter punch right hand. No devastating punches landed yet. Oh. Come on, clean it up and get it and work right. They're standing close together. It is not the rally of old dancing around the ring. He's going to be a puncher all the way, apparently. All right, keep it clean. That's all. That's all. Come on, work and stop talking. You can hear the referee, Zach Clayton. It's scheduled for 10 rounds. Our pace is slow so far. Well, Ali is looking very good, except he's looking a little awkward. Some good touches landed by Burbick. Burbick has been going to the body. A vulnerable spot for an older man. Burbick scrubs way down low. A good exchange for both of them. Burbick trying to roll with the punches. Sidestep them. Burbick is moving in a terrific left just to the body. I don't think that punch is low. I don't think it is, but the referee told him to keep him up. That was 
a Herbert push. Herbert is rocked back into the ropes, but he comes right off. No, that was a push. The crowd thinks it was a punch. They're really yelling. Ali has taken some good punches here. Herbert working on the body. Right them up, says Zach. Half a minute to go in the round, and it's a good round. A very good round. Better than any round of the home spike for Ali. Ali rocked back by that left hand. Ali's looking to land that, that combination, but he's throwing him too far over. Perfect is taking this one seriously, too. Perfect is really, really rocking, rocking the, the body. body. He's throwing everything. He's throwing wild and crazy. That's a great round. Great round. I would hope that uh, uh, Muhammad Ali would pace himself a little bit to make sure he doesn't poop out. Throw well, those punches to the body. The way Ali is coming down on top of him will make Ali more tired in the later rounds. One, one, one fact that he's getting hit, and the second is that he's straining to push him away and hold him down. The crowd has kept up a bedlam since this fight started. We can't hear ourselves here at ringside. Round two. Trevor Burbick finished the round fast. Now we're in round two. Muhammad Ali. The white trunks with the black stripes. And Borda. Ali comes out jabbing and moving. Trevor Burbick in the red border and stripes around the white trunks. He's dropping his right hand. He's dropping his right hand when he's jabbing. You mean Ali? Ali, yeah. But when Burbick tried to counter with that left hook, he still got away from it, so that's what counts. That's right. Ali is a retreating fighter right now. Burbick is trailing him. Ali pecking away with the left, but they are not landing. Burbick is concentrated on the body. He's got to get out of that corner. Jackson Layton getting them apart. Ali beat him to the punch, but then Burbick came at him. Get out, get out, get out. You're holding him. Come on, get out. Come on. Uh -huh, come on. Ali winching it as, as those punch are hitting his body. He's got a nice frown on his face. Zach Clayton is a no-nonsense referee no matter who's in there. Burbick is mad. He's saying, why Ali? Ali was a sitting duck there. And he's being belabored by Burbick. Ali doing the holding. Yeah, it's back to his old habit of putting his hand around the man's neck. Burbick doesn't like the chance of Ali. Burbick is moving in disdainful of Ali. Come on, God, come He's on. contemptuous of him. <laughs> Ali putting on a rally. He hasn't really landed any punches, though. No, no not, good not at all. They're sliding off Burbick's head. Fire on it. Keep firing on it. Keep firing on it. The Ali reflexes are gone. He knows what to do, but he can't do it. At least he can't up to now. He just can't put it together. It's the, it's the weight that's slowing him down and the age that's slowing him down. He's got the moves, it's just too slow. Burbick like, is just standing there and moving away from him. Like right, right there when he cocked up with the right hand. That's what he's doing. That is a good punch. The first punch. Now Ali winces. Ali has nailed Burbick some good punches. Right, 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 right. Ali putting on a good on, show. Zach Clayton is saying, work, work, work. Good right hand by Ali. Counter punch over the jab. Another right hand by Ali. Yeah. 
Ali's having a good round now. Come on. I'll definitely give that round to Ali. Oh, I think yes, so. I think too. You know, another he thing. got back to his corner very slowly, however. I think he's tiring. So is perfect breathing hard now. now. He's breathing a little harder now. Yeah. He's breathing a little harder now, and I think uh, if Ali keeps boxing for the next couple of rounds, this is going to be a very, very interesting fight. Interesting already. Stop the stop, stop the jump on Stop the jump on 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 Come on. Round three, Muhammad Ali. White trunks, black stripe and border. Trevor Burbick, the white trunks with the red stripe and border. Ali keeps jabbing him, keeps him off balance. Some good jabs by Ali. Yep, Stick they are. out there. They are good. They're finally landing. Ali's looking to set him up with one good right hand. Ooh, good right hand. Beautiful right hand. Ali takes the return punches. Punches that are good. Come on. Keep Keep Come on. 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 We're in round three of this 10-rounder. That's perfect, throwing him in there. Ali could always take a good punch. No matter who fought it. I think Ali's a little bit surprised when he when he stepped back. He said, well, like, what's going on here? Because Gerbrick doesn't quit. There's a rally by Ali. One punch rally, but a landed. Stop! Stop! Another rally by Ali. But he doesn't sustain it too long. Ali having a good round now, but Berbick is back at him, and he may have hurt him with that hook. On the first round, Berbick is gone for the body. Ali is gone for the head. I'm running out in the round, a little more than half a minute. Ali's short with the jabs. Come on, get off. Come on, work. Work, come on. Ali in his own corner, come holding come on. Get out, come on. All right, let's work, come on. Get off, come on. Ali in trouble over there, not getting hurt, but he's bothered. Come on, let's work, come on. Hey, the come on. Okay, baby. My goodness, Sally just walked back reeling. I know, but there's grease on Ali's arm for some reason. <clears throat> Good right hand Good, by Ali. Beautiful right hand. Come down. That's what Ali's been trying to do this whole fight, but he has been able to do it. What do you think of uh, and when he Ali's in, condition? Up, I Tire think Ali's you know, starting to tire him. I really do. And he reeled back a lot down. of good body punches. Yeah. He really, he's reeling back, going back to his corner, and that scares me a little bit about it. Don't hesitate. Come on. 
you up, but keep well, taking it. Well, we've got a 39-year-old, Ali, and he's a 27-year-old, Trevor Gorbick. Okay. Good enough don't to go 15 rounds with Larry Holmes. When he come in, pull oh, time up. Just warm up. Time up. Round four of a 10-rounder. Well, this is a fight that I uh, wouldn't be too sure of Burbick's ahead. Close enough. Both have white trunks. As you join his late, Burbick has the red stripe and border. Ali, the black stripe and border. Burbick goes jabbing for the head for a change. He's mostly worked the body. That was a good shot to the chest by Burbick with the left hook. Ali a little bit tentative. It almost got hit for it. There's a solid punch is there just above us. Burbick is pounding everything in on Ali. He's got him against the ropes. He's really trying to level him. Ali always could take a punch, but now he's in trouble. Yep, he's in, he looks like he's in trouble. He got hit a couple times to the head after Burbick went to the body and straight up. Got by his defense. Burbick's after him. Ali retreating. I'm very concerned. It's a tough round for Ali. I am too. Very to the truth. Ali's still trying his, his heart out, but it's Burbick, not there. Burbick is coasting a little bit as Ali holds on. Come on. A minute and a half to go in the round. That's a long time. I'm going to tell you again that Burbick's breathing hard. Take it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. Well, he's thrown a lot of punches, Davey. Yes, he has. Burbick coasting a little, trying to get in there. Still works the body. Take it down. Come on, let's work. Come on, let's work, man. Perfect is breathing extremely hard, That's isn't he? Come on. He's very hard. Yes. I'll Ali it holding take on. It. Come on. Okay, if you got it, come on. Work, come on, let's work. Let's work, fellas. Perfect may be a little arm weary. You look a little tired, do you now? Oh, come on. Three punch combination Three by punch. Ollie. Burbick came back with a big one, too. Shook it. Good rally by Ali here. Come on, boys, come on. Come on. Ali was knocked back by that right hand. Come on, let's go. Come on, that's it. Burbick is punching back now. It's a real fight. Here they come. There's Burbick going Brandon to the body. Party. And now he's going to switch up to the head. And this is where Ollie took a couple of bad punches. Right there inside. Playing the rope a dope, and that's no good. That's one of his faults. He backed out of it now, and uh, he came back a little bit at the end of the round. Burbick's really breathing hard. I don't think he's in, he's in good shape right now. Well, Burbick, he looks a little more recuperated than he was. But he's still breathing extremely hard. Oh, he's breathing, hard, breathing hard, harder than down. Ali. Four. Come on, down. come on, get out of there, Buck. Get out of there. Get that stool out Round of five. On. Ali gets off the stool very slowly. Burbick trots out after him. Ali's in extremely good shape. He's just too slow Ali to do anything. Ali is by another left hand. The left hand didn't hit him. Just threw him off balance. Our age old habit of him having his hand around the neck and the guy's banging him in the body. Punches like that can I can re really wear Burbick out. If he's beating as hard as he is, that's what's wearing him out. Burbick gets off quickly in the round all the time. Ali tries to come back at the end of the round. Nothing left. 
So far, it's been all perfect in this round. Allie is blocked by those right hands. Okay, okay. But he dodged the second one. He missed the second one. There he goes. Ali throwing a good right hand. There's a terrific body punch. Now the head punches. Ali takes a lot of punishment without a return. To get out of the corner now. They're in a neutral corner, just above us. Jack Clayton keeps yelling, let's work. I think they're working pretty good. Goodness, I don't know what he wants. Well, Ali was holding a little bit. He wants to see a little bit of action. Ali left himself open and was tagged. Not very hard. Ali's rolling out a few of these punches, catching them on the top of his arms. He caught those two real good. Punch out and get out, punch out and get out, punch out and get out. Allie making the clinches. Perfect slowed up something. Get off, come on over here. Let's go, come on. Allie, I think, feels that too, and he's trying to make an advantage. He could barely have anything left now. He could get him. I'll take it, fellas. Get out. Both of you tied up. Come on. Okay, you got it. That's Zach Clayton doing the talking. That third punch got in, and lost three after that. Every time Burger gets hit, he gets mad. Good that took by Ali. Beautiful. He tried to follow up and couldn't do it. Good hip, that took by Burger. Come on, let's go. Come on, Ali putting on a rally here. Burbick had the beginning of the round, and Ali came back. Good right hand by Ali. Sets Burbick back a little bit. Ali coming in. Big round. You got to keep fighting. Keep throwing your punches. Keep throwing your punches. Keep throwing your punches. You got it. I'm telling you. But keep throwing these at Yeah. You got to look how tired he is. But you got to use this hand not there and come back. Tell him to. Come on, Chuck. Allie getting worked on by Angelo Dundee in his corner. Get him on them targets. This number five, come on, we're halfway home. Halfway Cap. home. Cap. That find was Angelo target. saying that was number five, we're halfway home. Find the target, Cam. Find the target. He had three guys yelling at Ali between rounds, trying to inspire him. Ali looks like he's trying to move around and land out those punches again. Waiting for the for the Ali chair. keeps pecking away with that left hand and Burbick tries to set him up for his own left hand. Burbick continues to work the body. Ali tries to fight back with his own left hand. Burbick coming in on him again with solid punches. Good flurry. It's a big rally for Burbick who always starts the Ali tries head. to hold on. Ali beckons his man in. Burbick keeps him against the ropes. The referee is dancing around him. Ali still beckons Burbick in. He doesn't have to do that. Burbick will come in anyway. Let's go. Come on, both of you. Let's work. Come on. I don't know what the referee is yelling. Let's work for it. They're doing plenty of work. <laughs> back and towards the ropes again. That's where he's been in trouble through the fight. To get out of the corner. He did. He got out behind the left jab. Court, come on, both of you. Let's go. Come on. Court, come on. Come on. Court, both of you. Let's go. Come on. Those are good punches by Ali Ali's short with those lefts. Ali 
back and shows the ropes again. Then he gets out. Good, by Good combination. Ali. Good Good rally by Ali, but there's Burbick back at him. Come on, let's go. Come on. It's been certainly a better fight than anybody thought it would be. Ali still takes his punch as good as anybody in the ring. Ali's looking for that right hand, it looks like. Keeping him off with his jab. So far, it's been a good round for Ali. Thirty seconds left in the round. Mr. Burbick's punches on don't have the authority anymore. They're both tiring a little bit. Ali trying to set himself there. Burbick keeps him to the punch. All these Ali punches is, look like they're slowing up. Ali's quite a bit. pushing the right hand now. How much more credit could you give a man like Ali doing what he's doing, putting up the argument in the fight that he's putting up against such a younger man? That's right. That's Absolutely. Man, it's just unbelievable. Veronica Ali in the audience. And John Travolta. Right. There he is. Looking right into the camera. You'll get him. Go punch him. Oh, well, Jim, what do you think at this point? Jim Hill. Don, I have to tell you, uh, a lot of people here at ringside have been commenting about Ali and how slow he is in throwing his punches. He's telegraphing his punches, but still, he is surprising a lot of people. Round seven, Muhammad Ali, Trevor Burbick. It's scheduled for ten. There have been no knockdowns. Nobody's been seriously hurt. Burbick trying to get in on Ali again. Ali tucking away with the left to keep him off. Doing a good job of it. That's a crazy left hook landed by Burbick. Now Ali's covering up. All right, I'll take that hand out of here. And they, okay. that must say through the fight, Ali has made most of the clinches, done most of the holding. Burbick all over Ali and on the ropes. Two of those right hands landing just fairly effectively. A lot of them are getting in. Ali against the ropes again. Burbick on top of him. It's Burbick doing the landing. This to me is Ali's biggest mistake. Burbick is giving him no rest right now. Ali is taking a lot of punishment, but he always could. This is Burbick's game plan, is to get in and try to wear Ali out, throw a lot of punches and try to look good to win these rounds. That's what he's doing. Come on. Ali was really hurt that time. He's wincing. He's getting a little gun shy. And he's worried. Burbick's all over him in this round. Ali taking a battering on the ropes. Burbick looks like he's picking it up. Wilson a put in his, on his show. 45 seconds to go in the round. I think Burbick just looked at uh, Zach Burbick Clayton. putting everything into his punches. Head and body now. Burbick at this point is thinking that Clayton should stop the fight. Yes, that's what he was yelling to the referee. Yeah. He yelled at him for that. Take that hand, get that hand out of there. Come on. Burbick don't like Ali holding behind the head. Ali has done nothing for the last two minutes of this round. 
but take punishment. Hurt, hurt. He's trying to keep Burbick away. He's trying to put on a rally now, but Burbick is still on top of him. see Ali staying uh, uh, almost being stubborn about staying up against the ropes and this is where Burbick gets him and then when he holds his hand around his neck Burbick bangs him in the body and never stops yeah, that's when Burbick gets mad he hates being held I wonder if Ali stays on the ropes because he's too tired to get out in the center maybe it gives you a certain security does it Randy you know if you've been on the ropes I would know I can fight against the ropes I'm you not can. my best fights against ropes uh -huh. but Ali does it for protection and I don't know, I don't know his, his strategy, but figuring that he'll wear out or let up, but Burbick isn't bad enough. I think Ali had his worst round of the fight. He took a bad beating. That was Ali's worst round. Round eight of a 10 round, Ali goes dancing for a change and cutting away the old Ali dance, the shuffle. But Cut him with a beautiful left hook. Burbick doesn't believe it. There's Ali dancing for the first time tonight. Up on his toes. But it may be from memory. His corner is yelling at Ali to dance. That's what Ali has to do the whole fight is stick out his jab and stay away. The crowd has come alive. He's keeping Burbick off. Burbick is going to come in throwing wild punches any minute. He will. Making the clinch. That's what all he has to do is, is tie him up on the inside. I stay wonder on the how long he can dance this way though. Well, he looks in like oh, he's in good he shape. Nailed, got nailed in. Come on. That took raised off the back of the head. It wasn't that hard. Ali pecking away like the alley of old. A perfect kick coming in on him. Not only is Ali dancing, but his punches are fairly effective. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on, come on. Allie is come holding on. Look, it's very tired now. I have a feeling Burbick won't stop. He's going to keep coming in. Allie rocked into the ropes by that left hand. And the right. That took the partially back. Those aren't those. <laughs> Burbick is all over him. Valley can still dance. Amazing man. Oh, I'll tell you, get out. Come on. Nice Amazing going, night in the Bahamas. Nice going. Ali scouted the polo, but it got picked off in midair. That was a good counter punch by Bruce. Oh, yes. He's hitting solidly. Ali jabbing again as Burbick comes in wide open. Good jab on the right. That was a good combination by Muhammad Ali. But Burbick is on him again. That's what Ali has to do is tie him up on the inside and stay on the outside. It's been a good round for the ex-champion. Ten seconds left. Yes, I, uh, it, it's, it's a fairly close fight with Burbick maybe a little bit ahead. Uh, of course, uh, depending on how the judges see it, I would see it that way. When you talk about drama in the Bahama, that's putting it mildly. This is the most amazing exhibition I've ever seen. I think Ali is, is doing very, very well. He looks very sharp there. If he can do it for two more rounds, 
he has a chance of pulling this fight out, but it's really hard to say. The fight's a very hard fight to judge. He's got to jab and stay away from the ropes. Yeah, if he can jab on the outside and clinch on the inside and stop Rubik from throwing, that's what he has to do is stop it. Round nine. Who thought it would go this far? Trevor Burbick with the red stripe and border. Muhammad Ali with the black stripe and border, both wearing white trunks. Well, this goes to prove one thing, that that extra weight really hasn't stopped Ali's condition anyway. He's in very good shape, which he told a lot of people he was. I didn't think he could dance seven or eight rounds of action that way. No. Especially Perfect. after the punches he's taken. Mm -hmm. Perfect's backing him into the ropes again. Right. Oh, he, he tries to get out. He's nailed by a couple of good punches. Luckily, they were grazed off off his left foot, off the left cheek. Ali may be entertaining the crowd, but he's not scoring punches here. Burbick trying to throw out a desperation to try to stop Ali, and now throw in his, his combination. Ali staying on the outside. That's Keeping all his jab going. Grabbing again. Burbick can't get started in this round, but now he does. Ali making the clinch. Throughout the fight, it has been Ali doing the holding. Burbick a little bit frustrated here. Don, that's a lot of experience going on out there. Burbick trying to throw a lot of fast punches. Not real effective or hard, but a lot of fast punches just to land them. He's forcing Ali back to the ropes again. Ali is holding on. Ali a little bit short with those jabs, but Burbick wasn't short. Come break yourself. Get out of here, fight up the dance. Come on. About three quarters of a minute left to go in the round. Burbick all over Ali again. No punches landed real effectively, but that's what Bova wants to do, throw a lot of punches. That was a good one. Punch out again, punch out. Punch out again, punch out again, come on, punch out again. Our referee are here. Ali's against the ropes, trying to lean back, get the weight from Bova's uh, punches. Punch out again, punch out again, punch out again, come on. Bova's landing some good punches while Ali tries to hold on. Yeah, some good punches will land it. Punch out again, punch out again. Hey, hey! One more round. One more round. Ali looks pretty tired now. Yes, he's he looks very, very tired. I think he's exhausted already. Well, I'll say this in all honesty. I know you can. Win, lose, or draw here. I hope he doesn't fight again. I pray he doesn't fight again. I'm worried about this man fighting anymore at all. That's all. You got the You got the what we may overlook, you know, we think of the old alley, and he puts it on these flashes, dances around a little bit, and then he jabs and jabs, but Furbick is landing the punches. No question about it. And he's hurting him. Get up now. I've got perfect. And Ali looks flashy, sure, at times. When you think of the old Ali. There it is. The tenth and final round. Zach Clayton hasn't touched gloves. Who will be there? Ali goes to dancing. Perfect is dancing. Perfect's on top of him. Angelo Dundee was yelling to him, go, 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 get out there and dance. This is what Ollie's trying to do. This round he wants to stay away and use that jab. Good combination by Ollie. Perfect holds him against the ropes again. Over in Perfect's corner. 
some fight, hasn't it, fellas? Very good. Oh, fantastic fight. Even though this is a 10-round fight, this is history. Ali is trying. So is Burbick. Burbick ripping the body again. Referee says, this is it, let's go. It is, this is it. Ali is trying to exchange with him. I don't know if that's so good. Ali has to stay on his toes uh, and dance. About a minute and a half left to go in the fight in this 10th and final round here in the Bahamas, Nassau Bahamas. Bobrick swinging like a wild man again. Just trying to land those punches. Bobrick's throwing out all the stops. He's all over Ali on the ropes. A minute and 20 to go. Redick dancing into action, driving Ali back again. And the ex-champ has to hold on. Ali in his own corner is being battered. Ali looks like he's getting very tired. Less than a minute to go now. Ali holding on. Ali has to move and he's done. He's just standing there. He's driven back to the ropes again. Perfect from down under. All these punches are barely getting out there. Ali wants to put on a last second rally. 30 seconds left to go. Perfect drives him back again. There have been no knockdowns in the fight. Those are two good big punches, punches by Burbick. Big punches. The biggest of the fight. Ten seconds. There'd be no knockout now. There it is. It's all over. What a fight. Tremendous fight. A tremendous Very good effort. fight. We saw an amazing fight. Ali in much better condition than they thought he would be. Thank you. A lot of people getting up in the ring. We're going to have some interviews by Jim Hill and uh, Davey Pearl. Jim is going to get over with Muhammad Ali. I'm, my view is being blocked here by the people up on the ropes. I see Howard Bingham, the photographer, a long time friend of Muhammad Ali, he's up there. I kind of lost track of uh, Trevor Burbick in the crowd up there in the ring. Look at that crowd, it's building and building. We had a fine turnout here tonight at the Queen Elizabeth Sports Center in Nassau, Bahamas. And we saw some fight card. And the promoters have put it on. People connected with it deserve a lot of credit because they, if anybody could have been discouraged this week, they could have been. But they weren't. Davy Pearl and Jim Hill are both up in the ring. I hope they can get near the gladiators. We're waiting for the decision now. The scoring on the 10-point must system, 10 points to the winner of a round, nine or less to the loser. 10 points each in an easy, even round. There were no knockdowns. Big, big crowd around Ali. The ring must be cleared or we cannot have a decision. We must clear the ring. Matt Helrich, the uh, ring announcer, says the ring can, must be cleared or we cannot have a decision. Fair enough, I wish they'd all get out of there. Now they're coming out of the ring. Still a crowd in there, though. 
I said, they're all living here, man. Living. I made my living in television for a long time. Everybody who does not belong, please clear the ring. And they're trying to get the ring cleared, and they're not too successful of it. Am I supposed to break? Let's see if we can get Jim Hill in here. He's over in Muhammad Ali's corner. Can you hear me, Jim? I can hear you, Don. And of course, everyone in Ali's corner feels that he won the fight by a decision. Drew Bundini, Brown, Wallace Muhammad, the rest of them over there cheering him. Jimmy Ellis, who Ali beat one time before and now came back. And of course, everybody here feels, Don, that Ali really won the fight. People are hugging each other, and of course, it is really a tremendous thing that has happened here because for a long time, everyone that I talked to was hoping that Ali could win the fight. They didn't know that he could win the fight. They were hoping that actually he wouldn't come in here. But then, of course, after everything happened, once he got in here, I think the crowd got behind him, and of course, Trevor Burbick knew that Muhammad Ali would be the sentimental favorite going into the fight. One of the things that we noticed at ringside was at the slowness of Ali. However, in round 10, in round 10, Trevor Burbick came out, and it looked as though he, he knew that he was going to have to knock him out in order to win it. Burbick is walking around. He's been holding his hands up in the air as though he did win the fight. However, there is a look of gloom in his eyes as though he may have figured that he did lose it by a decision. Jim, it's almost like election night while the candidates Please wait for the returns to come in. No did you hear me? I said it's almost like election night with the candidates waiting for the returns to come in. That's right, and everybody on each side is saying that their candidate happened to win until until the actual uh, vote does come in. But Let's see where Davy Pearl is up there. Davy, can you hear me? Yes. Go yes. ahead. I don't want you to win, but I Trevor. Want you to win. It's a war I'm going to try to hurt him. I just want to win. Trevor. No, I hit him with the hard right hand, and I was thinking about a man getting hurt. Trevor. You know what? Face the camera, man. They're putting the truth since I've been here. Face the camera. Huh, how you doing? Trevor, you're a good looking guy. Don't be afraid of the camera. Okay? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, Trevor, what are your plans now for the future? Well, I'm waiting on this decision. I know I won the fight. No doubt about it. I gave him a lot of time, I shoot him off and back off instead of loading up. All right, let's assume you won the fight. What are your plans for Well, the I want to go for the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh-huh. Have you got any potential fights lined up? Or? Yeah, there's quite a few I could fight. I've been getting a lot of offers, but it's just a matter of accepting them, depends on the conditions. This one was awful. Since I get here, it was a mental strain that put me through. You figure it hurt you physically, huh? Hey, man, it hurt me mentally so bad that physically I'm tired. Even today, they had me wait on my return reporter since yesterday. Tired, wear me off. They did it deliberately, I know it. Just for Holly to be in better shape physically and mentally. But I survive and I overcome, I know it. Seemed like earlier in the fight you were talking to him. Close. Yeah, because what are you saying? I just told him, do the best you can, because I don't want to hurt you. Did he answer you? He was saying, you know, sort of sad. That sad look in his face. It was hard, man. Matt Helrich, Helrich is trying to get the decision made. He's looking over the card. Here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Alonzo Butler votes it 97-94. Judge Clyde Gray votes 99-94. Judge J. Edson votes 99-94. Unanimous decision for Trevor Burbick. Well, there you have it. Trevor Burbick is the unanimous decision. Judge Butler, 97-94. Judge Gray, 99-94. And J. Edson, 99-94. That was a unanimous decision. And uh, all the glamour around. Let's go, Jim Hill. Jim Hill, can you hear me? I can hear you, Don. Now, I'm at the center of the ring right now. Trevor Burbick and Muhammad Ali are hugging each other. Burbick is telling Ali that, listen to this. And I could, and I shall go on to win the world championship. Wait till you see me next time shine. I've been doing all the things. I couldn't have done it with you, man. You're my superior. But I'm going to do it for you, man. You inspired me since I've been a kid. I love you, man.
You're a true brother, man. I love you. Thank you, man. You made me. Bless you. Pray for you. Mohammed. Mohammed. There's still a madhouse in the ring. Mohammed, can I get you just for a second, Mohammed? Mohammed, can I get you just for a second? There were some people at ringside that thought that uh, you might have won this thing by going the distance, like you said you did. Man, it was, it was, it was close. It was close. And I have to submit to the judges. He was strong. He was good. And I think you won. Do you agree now? Do you agree now, Muhammad, that you should retire and never come back in this ring again? Muhammad, do you, is it, has it settled in your mind now after losing that this is it for you? You should never come back in this ring again? I'm sure that this is enough to convince me. I didn't get hurt. I saw the shots I couldn't take them. Father Time just got it. It looked to us at ringside that, you know, you were slow, you were telegraphing your punches, the eyes could see it, but the physical ability just couldn't get it there. That's right. I think that's the trouble. Father Time called me. In my young days, I wouldn't have had much trouble, but I think time got it. And this is it for you? I'm sure it is. This is it. I'm sure I won't wake up next week. Sam will come back as of now. I'm retired. I don't think I, I, don't think I changed my mind. Muhammad, thank you so very much, and thank you from all of us around the world. Thank you. Don Dunphy, back to you. All right, Jim, Jim, Jim Hill, thank you very much. We have seen the possibly the end of a great champion, but in all fairness, Trevor Burbick won the fight, and it's to the credit of the Bahamian officials that they scored it as it was and not by memory. I want to uh, congratulate my colleagues, Jim Hill and Davy Pearl and Randy Shields has certainly been a